Jarvis, drop my needle. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today's episode is a thank you episode. Uh, you know, we've done a couple of these throughout the show as we've crossed over, you know, different numbers of subscribers and stuff. And 2,800 is, is a lot. I mean, we were actually we really working hard to get here, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I felt like for a while there, I was being favored in some of the algorithms and, uh, you know, my videos were popping up on stuff around the time of the first Venom movie and a little bit afterwards. But then things started to slow down and my schedule kind of was a little more inconsistent during COVID. Um, I moved obviously across country and there was things uh, you know, that I was getting behind on and things I haven't kept up on. And then we've added in other shows, so DC stuff. So I'm not primarily just mainly pumping out Venom stuff anymore. So it, it messes with things sometimes, but still people seem to find us and it's amazing that they do. And you know, a lot of it's from you all sharing the videos, you know, sharing stuff that you like or telling people like, hey, I, ch I checked out this guy the other day, you should check out his show. And sometimes just people randomly finding a, a review I did of a Batman comic or a Transformer thing or something and it, it, it's enough to bring them in so if you're new here if you're old here who you know whatever time you came in and you stuck around I really appreciate it. even if you came here and left for a while uh, you know and, uh, and came back or if you left for good and you just happen to find this video um, I still appreciate the time you were here and all of you that are still here, it, it means a lot to me. Uh, this is just a side hobby and hustle for me. It's, it was a way to learn, to help work on my communication with people, to help work on my listening to people. And um, and it's been, it's done all that and more. And I, I can't thank you enough for that, honestly. It, it's been a real eye-opening for me as I'm trying to find out, you know, the type of person I still want to be. I mean, and I know I'm 39 years old, but I'm also 11 years old, technically, uh, you know, since I had a brain aneurysm in 2010 that uh, essentially wiped me out and wiped away a lot of my memories and a lot of my ability to do things. And I've been rebuilding myself for years. And I started off, you know, hitting the ground running, trying, you know, going through physical therapy and speech therapy and, and you know, getting back to California and, and trying to find a job out there and work there at 44 Blue uh, to all the people at 44 Blue who, you know, were there when I got Echo um, and, and just been friends of mine, some of them still to this day. And working from production to working at the comic store, doing Soul Star, Alain Vital, Harmontown, you know, uh, doing my own YouTube, doing Nerd Nation with Gene, like everything I've ever been a part of and everything that I've ever worked on has all led to here. And when I look back, I'm, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful for the life I've had, I, even the struggles, the pain, like none of that really outweighs the um, just the sheer awesomeness of, of just looking back and being like, wow, I've. I've met this many people, I've talked to this many people, some of them who hate me, some of them who don't mind me, some of them who I genuinely call friend, and it's it's just amazing to have that as, as something to, you know, leave behind one day, it's awesome, and to do this show that's so fun, and to talk about a character that's, you know, not interesting to a lot of people, but to us, we see something in, in, in Eddie Brock and Venom, I think it's it's because maybe sometimes we feel like people don't see stuff in us that we want them to see. And this character helps, you know, us cope with that or deal with that. Um, and as, as silly as that sounds, some of us just love the character and we just, he's visually cool and all that. But some, for some of us, it's deeper. And I, I, for me, especially Eddie, I didn't realize was as flawed as he was. And I didn't realize he was as in as much pain as he, he is and, um, and how lost he is at times, even as a grown man trying to find his way in a fictional world um, he struggles and uh, and that's it's a bit neat to follow a character like that and to see parallels um, both Eddie and I have attempted suicide you know me in real life and him in the comic book life um, and there are people out there that connect with Eddie for that reason too and that's why we put in our description uh, you know down below links to people you know links to places that can help if, if you are having those feelings um, like I've had before so um, you know but also Eddie's a guy who pushes through you know he he we always talk about how characters and fiction are always on these hamster wheels and eddie found a way off his numerous times uh, he's he's outgrown spider-man in some ways one of the biggest brands in the world spider-man and venom is up there with him now on his own and it's it's quite outstanding to see a character evolve like this in just the 30 years he's been or 32 or three years that he's uh, existed it's it's stunning and amazing and, and awesome and it's great to cover it and talk about him for nearly 700 episodes. I always think back to when I talked to my friend Joe Schlepsky at the Joe and Joe podcast, and he was like, 
I'm like, hey, would you like to do an episode of uh, Venom the Mace with me? Would you like to discuss that with me at Golden Apple? And he's like, sure, I'll talk about that book with you, no problem. And then he goes, uh, what episode is this? And I was like, oh, it's like 200 and something. He goes, what? He's like, you had 200 plus episodes just about Venom? He's like, what the hell do you talk about all the time? And uh, I was like, oh, there's there's a lot to this guy. There's He's in video games, movies, he's everywhere. He's in toys and there's just so much. He's he's a brand of his own and and uh, it's it's been great. And so I want to thank you all whether you came in during this show or if you came in, uh, you know, on one of my Transformer reviews and you stuck around or, you know, if you came in during my DC, my many attempts at doing DC shows and you're still here, like, I just want to say thank you. Like, thank you for getting us to 2,800 subscribers and uh, and already, you know, inching towards uh, 3,000 subscribers. It's it's awesome. I mean, I just, when I started this, you always hope for the best. You always hope that you'll find what you're looking for. And what I was looking for wasn't, you know, to grow so much as it was to um, meet more people like me um, or meet people that weren't like me, but like this character and like the other characters that we talk about on this channel. And uh, that is what I've been finding in abundance. So every time we even get one subscriber um, and if we go a whole month and it's like, oh, you got one new subscriber, two new subscribers this month. I'm like, that's great. Like, hopefully I didn't lose anyone. Hopefully they're still interested in, you know, hearing about these characters. But I understand people move on. They come in during, you know, times where things are popular and then they leave when they're not and they come back later on. And, and it's fine. It's just it's nice that at some point so many people have ended up here on this channel where it's just a nerd like me, uh, you know, pushing aside his, you know, his health. I, I mean, I know I address health and, and, and some personal stuff sometimes, but I try to just bring stuff that we love here which is you know talking about comic books and movies and stuff so hopefully you are still enjoying it and if you have suggestions or feedback or anything i'd love to hear it down below please as always i want to start a conversation down there as well um but also to the people who i wanted to thank you know i know there was people that have helped this channel have donated and whether it's been money or art or anything like that we made this great board and unfortunately it's, i have trouble keeping it on the wall it, it is a box that once had a lot of pizza in it, so I try to clean it the best I could um, and because I don't want to attract bugs or anything, so I don't always leave it up on the wall. Um, I try to keep it in it, like I move it around a lot, um, but also there's so much busyness on the wall sometimes that it's, uh, it blocks things or covers things. But, uh, but I do want uh, to incorporate this now in a new intro, so hopefully you saw that at the beginning of this episode because it wasn't just these people here and all of you. I know that I can't fit everyone's name on a board, um, and especially like this, or you know, I would love to. I'd love to sit you know, for like a couple days and write out 2,800 accounts and stuff like that. That would be great. Um, but I won't have the room to put it all and I don't have enough pizza boxes. <laughs> That's a really big pizza lid and I just don't have enough to do it for everybody. Um, but I just want you to know that you do mean something to me uh, and just being here. Um, it's it's awesome. It's, it's just really awesome to to uh, even be a, a small part of your life in any way and you in mine. It's, it's really cool. And I think that's what's so neat about the internet and like what the major benefit of it is, is that we can meet people around the world who like something that we like. And even if we disagree on other things outside of it, at least we have this one place where we can come to and talk about the things that we do have in common. Or sometimes we disagree on, and that's fine too. I, I like keeping it, uh, you know, I like having a discourse about it in the comments. So you can always feel free to be honest with me down there, and I'll be honest back with you for sure. So, uh, but also there was people, like I said, that I was having monetary problems uh, with, with rent. Like I actually, my two checks, I tried to save as much as I could for my first check, for the month and my second check came in and I was short on rent and some amazing people came to my rescues on Instagram. So I'll have cards up there of people that were, um, you know, names that, of people who offered to help. But after I was like, this is the amount I need. And once I got that, I said, okay, nobody else send me anything. But I had a few friends that were like, hey, can I still give you like 20 bucks or can I still give you this? Um, you can put it towards groceries or get Echo something or, you know, or get gas in your car. And I really was trying to refuse and I refused a lot of people. So but I'm still going to include their names up there because they offered and it was amazing. Um, but I just was like, look, I'm not greedy. I would be a real douchebag if I took more than what I needed. I really just need this. Um, but I was talked into some people just didn't take no for an answer. And they I ended up with like 80 extra bucks and they said, keep it. Put it towards, you know, uh, a bill if you need to do that or just use it to eat for the next like week and a half, whatever it is, like, you know, just keep it and, and, and put it aside. And I'm very grateful for, for that. You guys have been awesome and uh, you, you helped me keep this roof over my head. And I have I was like, let me let me pay you back. You know, so some people are like, eh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You know, um, I owe you for this or, you know, people who 
I have these great memories of stuff and they're like, you used to do this for me. And I'm like, I don't remember doing something like that for you. And they're like, but you did numerous times and I don't want the money back. Like, you know, I, I, I'm finally getting to pay you back. And I just, you just never think you make an impact on anybody. And it's, um, it's awesome that uh, some people think I have made an impact on them because, uh, you know, a lot of you have made an impact on me. So thank you. And thank you to the people in those title cards. And I took that footage and I'm going to make a new intro. So for the last, you know, from episode 700 to 750, at least, you will be seeing that intro. So that way, even though your name isn't on the board or anything like that behind me, I have a new intro now that you saw at the beginning of this episode that you know, incorporates hopefully all of you in some way, you know, uh, definitely some of you by name, but your presence of all 2,800 of you and more, if you're watching this later on and we actually keep climbing, like all of your presence should be felt in that intro. And so hopefully the new intro does that and, uh, and shows how grateful I am for the, the, any amount of time you spend with me and the rest of this community. It's been fantastic. When I set out to start YouTube stuff and Twitch stuff and things, you know, being online, this is what I wanted. I wanted to make friends and I wanted to meet people who agreed with me on some things, people who don't agree with me on stuff, and be civil with each other and prove that we are not just all screaming idiots on the internet, that we all can focus on a, a topic and, and share our love for that, e even if we disagree on our love for it um, or disagree about other things outside of it. Um, it's It's been awesome. And it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's cool to look back on for sure. And we're not done yet. So we, there's a lot to look forward to as well. So I'll have more episodes for you very, very soon. But to, you know, to the people who left this, to the people who give me fan art, like Twisty's art, I got to show off some of that right there. I'll start posting them up there. Twisty's art has been amazing. Just an amazing person who will reach out to me and say, hey, I'm doing fan art. I don't care if you want it or not. I'm doing it. And I'm like, no, I want to give you some money. I want to do something for you. And they're like, just give me a shout out if you really feel like you want to, you know, if you feel like you owe me something, but you don't owe me anything. This is just, you know, you inspired me to do this. And I'm I'm blown away. I just, I, I, it's awesome. So Twisty, you're amazing. I'm going to put a link to Twisty's uh, Instagram down below. Please go follow Twisty and hopefully you can talk Twisty into doing a drawing of you. I know Twisty did a, a drawing of Bruce recently, our friend Bruce on this channel. And, uh, and so hopefully there will be other people Twisty can do that for, but hopefully Twisty will accept payment for some of these too because Twisty's art is awesome. Um, so thank you, Twisty. Thanks for being part of this community, for being someone who cheers me up a lot. And a lot of you out there who DM me and write me and stuff like that. Um, it's, it's just, it's cool. It's, it's cool to know all of you. And, uh, and hopefully, you know, we keep this going for as long as we can. Right. Um, so, uh, thank you. And thanks for not making me feel like a, a stupid old man. Like I know I'm 39 and a lot of you are younger than me, but I see it on online on YouTube. I watch other YouTubers and they're like stupid 40 year old guy, you should know better and all this. And I'm like, man, I'm really, it's really nice of you guys not to treat me like that. Uh, that's awesome of you. Hopefully I'm just Hopefully, I know I get uh, super fanboy at times and uh, maybe a little cringe at times, but I'm trying to just have fun. And, uh, and it, you know, and it's important to me to have fun. I, I missed out on a lot of years because of my memory, you know, being taken. So it's nice to, to do things that um, are young at heart at times. And I appreciate you guys embracing that and being here with me. So, again can't thank you enough. I hope the intro does it some justice, shows at least a fraction of the love I have for you all. And I'll air it every time uh, between now, uh, episode 700 and 750, um, except for the Peter Parker Spider-Man episodes. Those will have a different intro that I made already that we only got to use once or twice. So I want to use those a few more times. But for anything outside of that, I want to use this We Are Venom intro with those names and the people who helped me out as a constant reminder um, and to show that I am very grateful. So thank you so much. And uh, at some point, we'll do a live stream again. Uh, I got some Parasite podcasts I got to catch up on. I got books that I still got to finish. I'm having a little bit of drama with uh, the books again, with Neverland. It feels like an ongoing cursed project, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm doing my best. So uh, I'll get everything out to you guys as soon as possible. And next year, hopefully, I'll have a movie in the works, a short film, that I can share some of that with you as well. So thank you so much for the endless support. It means a lot to me. And if you have any comments, anything you want to say, even if it's offensive to me, if you want to call me names, call me a big um, emotional baby, whatever it is, let me know down below. And I would love to read it and give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. See you in the future. Peace.